I get this phone call and it's reading this, it had to be at least 15 digit number. I pick up the phone and I go, you know, hello. I hear on this voice going, Wei, which is Chinese for, you know, hello. And she goes on to explain, we want you playing this show of ours um, in November. I go, okay, great, that sounds awesome. Um, what do you need me to do? And they go, well, it's gonna be about 20,000 people. This is the real deal. This is a huge break for us. And we're incredibly excited. We got, we just finished up a photo shoot with the whole band. All of our CDs are ready to go. We have all our merchandise. You know, everyone's practiced, they're pumped. Everything is in place. Nothing could go wrong at this point. The night before, 18 hours in fact, before we're supposed to get on the plane, we got the worst phone call. Hey, heads up, the event's canceled. It's done. You're not going. So you get that news. What do you do now? And we're all sitting there going, wait a minute. We have a week off. We've set this week aside to do music. And we want to do something for the fans. And we're sitting there going, you know what? We've rehearsed these songs for a month straight every night for three hours. Why don't we cut a record? A full Chinese EP. There's two things in the world you can control. Your attitude, and it's your effort. Anything else you have to just accept and go, you're not gonna be in control of it. Like certain situations in life in general. And so we could have felt sorry for ourselves. That's, that's what most people, I guess, would do. But you know, tough times don't last. <laughs> Foxhead sessions would have never, ever come out had we not had that happen. And right as we were filming the music video, I get a call um, from CCTV saying, actually, it looks like we rescheduled. And I was stunned. Uh, I was thrilled. I mean, I, we're bouncing off the walls. This is huge. And sure enough, April rolled around. We boarded. And we got there and we're excited. And then the reality sinks in. This is the biggest show of our lives. We gotta get this right, or it's over. Our first show is the university, and we're in a green room, and we walk out, and it's a, literally a soccer field full of people. And the whole band is silent, stunned. We were told maybe a thousand. There was definitely more than a couple thousand sitting on this field and we're just stunned. And we get up there, plug our guitars in, and I remember just going up to the mic and going like, How you guys doing? You guys ready to have a good time? All right, let's do this thing. Just Thought You Should Know is our opener, and it sets the tone for the rest of the show. And it's a good chance for us to interact with the fans because that drum line, doom, ka -ka, doom, ka -ka, everyone's clapping along and feeling the beat. Say bye, 
to the love that we had broken promises that's just how it is driving me mad everyone's having a good time everyone's smiling everyone's clapping and screaming and singing the lyrics and they were so excited they ended up ripping my shirt and I'm not kidding I actually borrowed a shirt from my friend before the show I had to go buy him a new one <laughs> <laughs> and hey, should I told you chili kaneo? My tongue to fame or she got a piao, pizza shakwam, chow wu tong chow. What's left to say? You got a long, long way to go. What's a shashani guy mean by? To shashani guy mean the biggest thing for us as a band is that we actually got to make something absolutely incredible from something that was absolutely devastating for us as a band. And that's pretty cool because it was, it was something from nothing. You know, we could have sat there and felt sorry for ourselves. That was definitely an option. Well, I'm glad we didn't take. <laughs> but we didn't because we want to make this happen. We wanted to make something for the fans. And the cherry on top of it was, after all this hard work of everyone throwing in with the band and the film crew, come April, we played some of the best shows of our lives using those same songs that we recorded that week. Which overall, that's a pretty amazing experience. <laughs> this trip, in the best way possible, changed everything for us. You know, our goals have never been higher because of the resounding success we had. And so, for us, you know, our goal in the future is that we want to expand on what we just did. We were happy what we just did. We want to bring that experience to multiple people. Take me home to the place that I Mountain Mama, take me home. I gotta say, man, I'm excited. The future seems pretty bright. Take me home. Thank you.